Kershaw County Council says that they're investigating the abrupt relocating of 13 soldiers from the Revolutionary War. So the county council members say they were under the impression that the soldiers exhumed would be buried in the same location. But over the weekend, something unexpected happened. Andrew Fancher reports. The story of 14 Revolutionary War soldiers continues over two centuries later in Camden. Elected officials say the excavated men were supposed to be reinterred at the Camden Battlefield, nearly 10 miles away from where they're now buried downtown. It was widely known and brief to me that those soldiers would be buried on the battlefield where they were exhumed from. I don't know where the breakdown in communication is. I regret that there was a breakdown in communication. The Quaker Cemetery in downtown Camden is now the final resting place for 12 soldiers who fell during the Battle of Camden in 1780. The soldiers were excavated from the county seat's battlefield in the fall of last year and were supposed to be reinterred in the same location following a nationally recognized ceremony. I think everyone that came to the Camden Burials weekend had the same expectation. Um, it wasn't until this past weekend I found out that that was no longer the plan and the soldiers were buried at the Quaker Cemetery. Chairwoman Katie Gwynn says council allocated $35,000 to fund and promote the ceremony, believing these soldiers would be reinterred in the same location. The remains of the soldiers had to be certified as Continental soldiers. What we didn't realize at the beginning of the project was once they're certified to be Continental soldiers, the Army is legally the next of kin for these remains. Doug Bostick, CEO of the South Carolina Battleground Trust, is the acting manager of this project. He says that once the U.S. Army got involved, they wanted and had the authority to reinter the remains at a national cemetery, not the Camden Battlefield. And ultimately, the Army did choose the Quaker Cemetery as the place of the reinterment. We were notified of that decision in late July. Bostick says his expectation was the people of the steering committee would notify their constituencies of the change, including Kershaw County Council. But Chairwoman Gwynn says she didn't find out until she came upon an exclusive ceremony for the soldiers last week. I just want to bring to light exactly what happened throughout the whole process so that everybody is well informed on um, how the Camden burials switch direction. Chairwoman Katie Gwynn says she's currently working on a timeline which includes financial documentation to potentially present before council as soon as next Tuesday. She says she's doing this to inform the public on where their tax dollars went. Reporting in Camden, Andrew Fancher, WIS News 10.